everybody and welcome back to my channel Sushi Dragon Masters and today was supposed to be the day that my book talk for a lock to remember came out but I tried making it honestly I did I have it on my camera it was really kind of dark out when I was making it so I had my phone sitting like right next to the camera with the flashlight on it was shining right in my face and over half of the footage is me talking about that I'm seeing spots and I couldn't get any of my thoughts straight um, mostly because of the flashlight I don't know if I'm going to try again but we'll see so today I'm going to do a tag that I forget what it's called so I'm going to look at it the summer madness book tag since summer is coming to a close I decided that I'm going to do a summer book tag for this and so let's get started so the first question is show a book with a summery cover and for that I'm going with will always have summer by Jenny Han and from the front it looks like she's walking through a grass field but if you look at the back I'm going to cover the description because it's kind of a spoiler you see that she's actually on the beach because it's kind of like see she's on the beach this is the most summary of all the books in the series well cover wise I think the summariest one was the first book but cover wise this one is the summary the next question is pick one fictional place that would be your vacation spot and for this I was originally thinking like um what's it called in the Scorpio races that island they live on I forget what it's called but then I watched a video of this tag and I had to steal that person's answer because it's just so awesome. Camp Half-Blood from Percy Jackson and I would hold up not the graphic novel but my camera's kind of sitting on all the Percy Jackson books right now. So. And now I'm so professional. But yeah, Camp Half-Blood. And the next question is, you're about to board a flight to your summer vacation. What is a novella that would last your entire flight? And for this, I'm going to go with The Prince rather than The Guard from Selection Stories. The Prince, because Maxin, you know, he's the bae. And the next question is, you have a case of summertime sadness. What is a happy book that you read to pick up your mood? And for this, I'm going to go with The One by Kira Cass because of something spoilery that happens in this book that just made me smile so much and it was so happy and it even occurs right after a very tragic event but then it gets so happy and I had all well, fangirling and squeals basically that was me at the end of that book was just smiles and fangirling squeals the next question is you're sitting on the beach all alone which fictional character would be your beach babe? And oh my gosh, I could not pick one, so I picked them all. Which that would mean Day from Legend, Enzo, Taryn, and Raphael. I know Taryn is kind of evil, but he's he's blonde, and I love my blondes, you know. From the Young Elites, Maxin from The Selection. Sean from the Scorpio races. <sighs> We're still going. Hold on. Hold on. We're not done yet. <laughs> Kyle and Aaron from the air, which I understand. Aaron is Max and son. 
but Maxine kind of has kids. So you know, I I need a I need my backup. Here's some way to get Yeah. Don't get mad at me. Continuing on, Tobias from Divergent, Tarver from These Broken Stars. We're still going. Jeremiah and Conrad Fisher from The Summer I Turned Pretty. And the last two, Kale and Dorian from Throne of Glass. Oh, my face. Oh. I love all my boys. They are all mine, and no one else can have them, okay? We're all good then. And the next question is to match your ice cream you are going to need an icy cool sidekick what fictional sidekick do you would you pick and for this at first i was thinking and thinking and thinking and then all of a sudden it hit me captain thorn from the little chronicles he is just he just seems like the most fun person to hang out with ever like he's just so awesome and if you have, if you don't know who I'm talking about, but you have Red Cinder, he comes in Scarlet, and he's also in this book, even though I have not read this book, which is very sad because I want to read you, and I'm so sorry that I have not yet. I think I just poked my eyes with the book page. And the last question is: Share the summer su summertime happiness. Who do you tag? I'm going to tag Leah from Handmade for Hope 01, Josh of Josh Journals, Sarah of How Small Space, and I think that's it. So, if I tagged you and you do this tag, you can let me know. If I didn't tag you and you did this tag, you feel free to. And let me know and I'll check it out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!